Okay. Hey, it's your chance to uh, get something you think is interesting featured right here on Good Day. Now is the time. It is our live truck tracker, and earlier a viewer let us know about a huge project going on in Fairfield. In fact, this one's so big, it's actually going to be the biggest building in Fairfield, but with a twist. Not only that, but it's being built inside out, we are told. Joining us this morning to talk about it, Jenny Bledsoe with uh, Mayor U.S. Is it Mayor or Meyer? Meyer or Mayor? It's Meyer, Meyer it's Corporation Meyer. U.S. Nice. Meyer yes. Corporation U.S. And you're building this building, and it's infinitely more unique than any structure. It is. It is. Uh, this will be the largest construction project that we have undertaken. And behind me, what you can see is our automated storage and retrieval system building. And this building is 11 stories high, so it's actually one of the tallest buildings in Fairfield. And But it's only on a 165,000 square foot concrete foundation. It's called a high density storage building. And what it's going to do is allow us to store actually 66,000 pallets wow. of product in this building. So, wow. I, but I, from what I understand, the construction is interesting. Is that it's being built? Is it correct to say from the inside out? That is a very good terminology. Um, once we poured the foundation, we actually assembled all of the steel racking that you can see. There's 11 million pounds of steel in this building. And the racking was assembled outside into 100 foot tall sections. And they were then lifted into the building with a 250 ton crane, bolted into place. So what everyone could see from uh, Highway 12 in particular was just the steel inside of this building. Then the walls went on uh, and the roof, and uh, unfortunately we didn't quite beat the rain, so we have, don't quite have the roof on yet, and we have some puddles on the floor. Uh, but it was built exactly from the inside out. Now, uh, from the time you broke ground to a uh, completion date, how much time will have gone by? And, and what is that date, by the way, to have it done? Um, we broke ground in April of this year, and the physical construction will be done around the 1st of January. Then we have some automation work to do. It's going to take us about two to three months to get the uh, software online, and uh, we'll start loading the building with product in March of 2010. All right, have you guys already hired, or I know a lot of our viewers are, you know, it's been a tough year, they're looking for work. Is this something they might consider? Uh, possibly for jobs with Meyer. We've definitely had a lot of construction jobs over the last eight or nine months. There have been 100 to 150 construction jobs uh, on the site on any given day. We've hired a couple of people at Meyer in preparation for the system coming online. And I actually have a couple of jobs open right now. Folks can go to Meyer.com to oh. check out the jobs that are available. Meyer.com. We'll leave that okay. to GoodDaySacramento.com. Mm -hmm. Jenny, thank you so much for joining this morning. Thanks, Jenny. Thank you. Jenny Bledsoe with uh, Meyer U.S. And again, that uh, building is in uh, Fairfield. So that's one example. If yep. you have an idea of something that you know we can send a live truck to, give us a call. We, most of the great ideas, honestly, are from you viewers. 374-1423 or emails. Good day at KMXTV.com. Exactly. Tell us what's going on. Could be something you know seasonal, Christmas lights. Could be something somewhat newsy. Or it could be something just flat out. Bizarre. Please include your phone number and also uh, just kind of give us directions how to get to the location, especially if it's like a small town. As soon as we stopped talking to Jenny, the mass started coming down on the truck.